Right, so I've got this issue today. When I say I've got this issue today, I've got lots of issues, but today's main issue is the fact that my belt keeps breaking and my top button on my jeans is broke also. So that means at least three buttons come undone every time my belt breaks. Uh, that's the main issue of the day. It is annoying every time I bend over, the belt breaks. That could be because I'm putting on weight because of all the takeaways that I eat. Uh, anyway, we are back at it in the ambulance build. So, it's Tuesday, I didn't work Monday because, um, well, I mean, I've got better things to do on Mondays than work. Uh, Tuesday, uh, in the last video, you saw that I built the bed uh, roughly. Uh, so what I've done today is come back at it with another approach. I've moved the bed closer to the front of the vehicle by about an inch and a half, um, which is some something centimetres inch and a half move it forward so that I, I've got some more space on this back edge uh, and also it just makes things a little bit easier over this side uh, as well and now I'm just putting supports in as you can probably see maybe you can see you can see on that side put supports in just putting some supports in there I'm gonna have to put a support in the middle also because I don't think it's quite old uh, I don't think these are quite strong enough to hold two adults I don't know maybe maybe I'd rather just put a support in anyway who knows what they're going to get up to in this bed? Uh, that's none of my business. So uh, I have to prepare for, for for it to see some. I have to prepare for it to. <laughs> you know. I hope you're all enjoying my new camera. Uh, I've not quite got used to talking to the lens yet because the screen's over this side and quite a lot. So you might see me glance over uh, like that because a new thing just flashed up saying backlight. Why well, it's, it's trying to it's deliberately trying to get my attention over that way, which is annoying. Uh, a couple of things about my new camera. Um, it's been long overdue getting a new camera because uh, using essentially an action cam to film YouTube videos isn't ideal. Um, it's not the best quality. It is good quality, but it's just not. It's not this quality, you know. So anyway, I invested in a decent camera just to create better content for you. Um, I forgot where I was going with it. Yeah. Uh, Basically, because of the quality, it's made me realise how old looking I am. Um, it's it's highlighted some fine lines and some wrinkles and some crow's feet and things like that. So, uh, I decided that my next big investment is Botox. So where I'm at right now is measuring up the, uh, let me just show you measuring up where the seating area stroke double bed is gonna go oh, I'll just put me back down there just for uh, some hands free so as I've said the uh, probably a thousand times uh, the second the seating area is gonna fold down to a double bed which is four foot six so now I'm just measuring that four foot six timbers to start the frame for the seats. Um, I'm just going to check that actually, I'll just mark that off. It's going to be to there, that's good. And then and then, it's, and then after that it's going to be... So, I'm still getting used to this camera. Four foot six is here, uh, which then leaves this room here for a toilet uh, box thing to where I can hide the toilet in there and then oh, my belt's broke again my belt's broke again it's just broke look see my fat belly there it's just broke again I've had this belt such a long time quite attached to it uh, and now it's broke so what I don't want here is the seating area to be the same height as the double bed because when the seating area the seating area goes down to a bed I don't want it to be all like one bed so we're gonna have it quite low I think maybe even that low the seating area I uh, think just enough so I can put another full piece of cladding in and then 
maybe there. That's a good height for a seat, which is then going to fall down to a bed. Um, I've got no definite heights to work from. Customers not uh, requested any heights. They did say that it doesn't have to be very high. It can be quite low. I'm just going to work with that. It's going to be a long day today, um, but I don't mind working long days because I'm staying here on this site. Let me. I'm staying here on this place where I'm at, uh, the storage facility, uh, until Thursday at least. So, so I've got all night, and now I've got lights fitted in here. I can carry on working even when it's gone dark. Um, I'm not in a mad rush, as in I'm not working so hard that I'm stressed out. Uh, I'm working at a steady pace, and as you can see, I've already done a fair bit. So the pace I'm working at is fine. Um, the beauty of it also is that my van's just there, so I can stop for a break for a coffee um, and a snack or my lunch or whatever, anytime I want. So. <sighs> Splinters. <laughs> so we're nearly at the end of today, uh, and it appears like I've not done an awful lot. Um, but what I have done is sort the seating bit out and start on that side. The main things that I've done, it's just been a lot of measuring and faffing today. Like I said, I've got to, I had to move the bed a bit first. Um, anyway, it's getting there. Uh, I can't grumble. Um, the customer's been over and measured up the seat cushions and everything already. So that's going to come together pretty quick. Hopefully I get the seating area finished today. Um, and that's a big amount of progress, isn't it? Right, so it's like 6pm. It's starting to go dark outside, although it's still light at 6pm which is a bonus because it's usually dark at 4pm but now it's obviously a sign it's going to summer <sighs> I'm still continuing on though because um, well there's, I've got a milestone that I want to finish today so I'm going to carry on but I've started to put the edges on the storage seating area um, it's coming together as an actual thing now what do you think? I'm trying. Right. I'm clocking off. It's 7 p.m. It's late, that, isn't it? That's like a night shift. I'm leaving it as it is. It's getting there. It's, I, I'm starting to enjoy the look of it a bit more now. Um, starting to change again into something that I'm happy with so oh dear so as you can imagine I'm pretty knackered now like working one day a week is too much for me I think I'm, I'm gonna retire but I'm happy with progress today um, and also when this van's done I've got another one to do and when that one's done I've got another one to do and I'm fully booked now until end of May at least and I just found out that somebody's buying another van potentially for me to do and then I've got these odd jobs to do in the middle of all that to have gone from having no work on for the best part of a year due to Covid to having too much work on. <laughs> I meant to have retired and now it's looking like I've not retired anymore um, but my main aim is to uh, to save some money. Uh, that's it. So I'm going to save as much money as I can, and then I don't know what I'm going to spend it on. I've got no goal to spend it, but just to have some financial backing. Uh, but also, I'm going to redo this van. I've decided, uh, 
and then I'm going to buy another van to potentially do uh, and then maybe sell on so don't know where I'm going to find the time to do all this I'm going to bed I love you all bye Felicia